God. Father, as we give you glory, we thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to come and, Lord God, to have communion and have fellowship with you, Lord God. We give you glory. As we come today, there is a word in the house in the name of Jesus for these days and these times. Hallelujah. I believe I'm also giving the scriptures ahead of time. In case you have your Bibles, I encourage you to get your word in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is Saturate Saturday. In the name of Jesus, Amen. get your word. Uh, uh, we're going to be in the book of John, chapter number 14. Going to be in the book of Hebrews. You know, we've been laying and remaining in Hebrews for quite some time. And also, uh, hallelujah, if we get to Second Chronicles, if we get there, amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. So we're coming today, John chapter number 14. And we'll be beginning our reading at verse number 1. Amen. John chapter number 14, beginning at verse number 1. And the word of the Lord God reads as such. Let not your heart be troubled. You believed in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am you may be also, and where I go you, you know, and the way you know. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers, hearers, doers of his almighty word. And we said amen. Amen. Amen, amen. amen and amen. As we come together today in the wonderful name of Jesus, I want you to know that there is a word in the house. Hallelujah. As we're going through these times, I, I come to make a charge to every man and woman of God that's preaching the gospel, that's held accountable. I come to tell you it's time to shift your plans. Hey! In the name of Jesus. It's time to shift your agenda Jesus. in the name of Jesus. You must understand oh the people God. of God that it's no longer our agenda, but whatever the Lord God would have for us to do. Yeah, these yeah. are trying times right about Amen. now. And the Lord God's Amen. having us to shift some things around that we're going to have to move with the flow of mm. God. I want you to understand that it, it will not My be God. church as usual oh. in the name of Jesus. Wow. So as we're coming today, in case you're wondering, you know there's always a word as well as a message. And the word today is believe. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know you may be sitting in your home by yourself, but I want you to know if you're sitting there, and I'm not going to ask you to touch anybody, but I'm going to ask you to shout out, believe. Believe. In the name of Jesus. You must understand the people of God that even if you speak it out loud in the name of just power, in the name of Jesus, there's power even in the word. So I want you to understand the people of God, you may be sitting there. Wondering that saying that you know you may be underneath some type of isolation or quarantine But regardless of what type of isolation or quarantine Mandate that's going for you must understand that God's telling us that you still must believe Amen. in the name of, the Jesus. Name of Jesus. This is, this is the perfect opportunity the Lord God is waking us up and shaking us up. Yes, Lord. You must understand that we must believe. If you're taking any notes, which I encourage you to do, the title of today's message is, I Believe. I believe. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe. I believe. I believe. I went to the Word of God, and in case you're maybe wondering, in John chapter number 14 and 1, the Lord God starts off the Word. The Lord is speaking to His disciples, and He's telling them, Let not your heart be troubled. As I come Lord. before you today, I speak to her, let not your heart be troubled. You must understand, you cannot be fearful or troubled of the things that are going on. And I understand, there's nothing wrong with being concerned. I understand. God made us human and there's nothing wrong with you being concerned. But the Bible tells us, as Jesus was speaking, let not your heart be troubled. Amen. Don't be so troubled to understand, to forget who you serve. Come on now. Yes, in the name of Jesus. You must understand the word said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. I'm going to do a pause right there. Let's do a C-law right there. Mm. You believe in God. You see, there's a lot of argument about who God is. And, All and right. what God is. And All what he right. represents. And, and the Lord God said, and you know, a lot of us, we just want to believe in God. But the Bible tells me, if you believe in God, believe in me also. Meaning the Lord God said, Jesus Christ. That's right. I don't know what that's you right. say, but the word said, let not your heart be true. You believe in God. You see, that's where a lot of us fall. We have a lot of people that's believing in God. 
Hmm. But not a lot of people want to believe in Jesus. Yeah. Come on, yeah. come on. I'm going come straight on. over there. Come on, straight come over on. there. Come on. Yep. I'm not scared, nor am I nervous. <laughs> come in the on. name of Jesus, you must understand. If you're going to believe in God, the scripture says that right here, John 14, believe in me also. Yes. And we're talking about Jesus. That's what he's saying. He's speaking to his disciples, disciples and followers of Christ. He's saying, if you can believe in the Father, you must believe in the Son. Amen. Because there's no other way to the Father but through the Son. That's right. That's the only way. Many of you, you may know John chapter number 14. This particular passage, verses 1 through 5, you may talk about the way, the truth, and the life. The only way you're going to make it where is it that you must go through the Son. Mm -hmm. I didn't allude there because the Lord God said, I need the people to believe. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I need for them to believe. So you must understand, in this book, John, the, one of the great apostles, uh, the, the beloved John, he wrote this book, and you must understand that John talks about belief over a hundred times in this Bible. Wow. In the book of John, that, that the whole book of John, I should say, it referenced belief over a hundred times. I want you to understand, if that's not a message to the church, oh, wow. come on now. Wow. If that's not a message yeah. to the church, you must understand. Yeah. See, most people think they need a congregation to get them all hyped. I come, come hyped already come with you because, because he, because come I believe on. in him. That's Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, come on Lord. now. Yes, I come Lord. with my own shout. Yes, I come with my own praise. Yes, Hallelujah. And believe it or not, God's calling for you to believe in Jesus. Come you on. must believe. Come on. You must believe. You must believe. Uh, yeah, surely uh, I went to Webster's Dictionary. You know, I like to look up words. If I'm going to shout, Go I want to know what I'm shouting right, about. Right. So when I look up the word believe, believe it means to accept something <coughs> as true. My God. Wow. Accept something as true. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Feel sure about the truth. Confidence. Trust. That's <laughs> another word for, for belief. That, that's in the definition. I'm going to repeat it again. We're in, I, I went and looked up the word in Webster's Dictionary. It said, it, uh, the, one of the definitions of belief. There are many. One of them says, accept something as true. Feel sure of the truth. Not a true, but the true. Oh, come on now. Come on. come on now. Now this Webster's right here. Come Feel on. sure of the truth. Confidence in the truth. Mm -hmm. And it has trust. It's another word, like a synonym for belief. You must understand, people of God, that we are living in these days and God's calling for us to believe. Yes. Amen. You must believe in who he is Amen. and all that who he is. Not half-hearted, but wholeheartedly. Amen. You must understand, people of God, that even where you're sitting, where you're sitting, no matter where you're watching, whether you're watching me now or watching me later, the Lord God still say, I'm present always. always. Come on now. Come you on. must understand God's calling for us to believe. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, just shout it out loud. I believe. I, I believe. believe. In the name of Jesus. You must understand. <laughs> you may be in your house. Oh, I'm going to ask you to do it again because you know what? Even the neighbors, you may be sitting there unable to get any visitors, unable to get anybody, but I'm going to tell you that the devil going to know and every <laughs> demon in hell going to know that you are a believer. Shout it out loud again. I, I believe. believe. I believe. In the name of Jesus. Lord. You must understand, people of God, that God's calling for us to believe. God's calling for us to believe. Mm -hmm. I, you know, as I looked up the word, uh, the, the Greek word for believe is pistizo. It's spelled P-I-S-T-E-U-O. Pistizo. That's the Greek word. And it means the belief. Firm persuasion. Talk to me now. Mm -hmm. It don't mean something passive. That means whenever you're operating in belief, according to the, the Greek, you know, the Old Testament is written in Hebrew and the New Testament is written in Greek, amen. Mm -hmm. For those of you scholars who really love to study the word, you must understand that when Jesus was speaking, he was utilizing the term to say, belief is a firm persuasion. It is the conviction. That means you're not wavering back and forth whether or not who I'm going to serve and All what right. I'm going to do. You are standing firm in your conviction. You're unwavering, unyielding. You're like you're firm, you're fixed and you said, I believe that I know that Jesus Christ. I believe in the Father and I believe in the Son. Amen. Oh my God, help my me, God. Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah, don't get me to start running because I got plenty of room. I'm All just right. in alone. I can run up and down. Mm. You must understand that we must learn how to believe. I come to, as with this word to encourage the people of God 
that we must be encouraged to believe in what God is telling us. And God is speaking to the church. God is speaking to the people of God. He's trying to get us to believe in Him. We must trust Him at His word. I know that there are things that are happening around and around you and around, but the Lord God is still calling for us to believe. You've got to believe, have that firm conviction that God said, I would never leave you nor forsake you. You must understand that God said, I did not forget about you. I'm right here. He said, if you go through it, I'm going through it with you. Come on now. You must understand you may be sitting, and I'm saying that because there are many that are like, Lord God, I can't go nowhere. I can't contact nobody. But I want you to know the Father said, I'm always present. I'm right there with you. He said, I'm going through this time with you. And that's the thing that the believers need to stand strong in, is that we understand we got somebody to go through it with us. We're not going through this time by ourselves. You must learn to believe God. Our people of God, there's a powerful scripture, and you already know it in John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that he did that none should perish. But I want you to understand, out of that powerful verse, you know what, let's look at John chapter number 3. Let's look at verse number 15 as well. As you're turning your Bibles, thank you, Lord God, in John chapter number 3. We're just going to go right above verse number 16. That's a very familiar. But look at verse number 15. The word the Lord God said that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have what? Eternal life. Amen. He makes no distinction as to who you are. Whoever, man, woman, boy, girl, older, younger, huh, come on now, whoever, Non-denominational, non-denominational, mm. mm. interdenominational, mm. the Protestant, the Catholic, the Baptist, mm. the Methodist, mm. the Church of God in Christ, all of, all, all of them. Mm. Now, whatever you decide to go labeled under, the Lord God said, he said, whoever believes, <laughs> yeah, 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 whoever, look at that verse, it said, whoever believes in him should not perish, but what have eternal life. So it doesn't matter what umbrella you want to sit under, but make sure that umbrella sits under God Almighty. Mm. And God Almighty says, because the true covering of all of us. And the only way to get to that Father is through the Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let, me not, let me not get you confused now. Amen. Come on now, because they got a lot that's trying to buff up again. But uh, you know what? We're going to take God at his word. That's Amen. right. It says those, he said, whoever believes in him should not perish. Him meaning, you know, you know, you've got to believe in God. you got to believe in the Son and as well as the Holy Ghost. Come on now. We're talking about the Trinity. Come on now. Come on. Come on, my Catholicism sisters and brothers. We know we're talking about the Trinity. Come on now. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. The three shall become one in the name of Jesus. You must understand that we believe in the Trinity. Thank you, Lord God, that we understand that it takes the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord God, that the Spirit of the Lord God is the Spirit of the Holy Ghost. The Father said, I've got to go meet my Father, so that way I will leave you another, another one just like me. <laughs> Woo! I'm going to tell you, that's the Holy Spirit. We embrace and we welcome His presence at all times. People of God, I want you to know that we must learn to believe. We've got to understand that we've got to trust God, have that full assurance. And see, that, that, that's where... That's where it really presses on me because it, it troubles me just a bit, I must say, because, you know, I'm finding out as I'm sitting around and I look about and I, I study people and I study the word, I understand that not everybody's believing. Mm -hmm. All right. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Not everybody believes. Now, and, and some of those the non-believers are really believing more than the believers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to just do a little rewind. Can yeah, I do a rewind? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do a rewind, you know. Yeah. Just put, sit back and hold on to your seat. They've got a lot of non-believers that are believing, and they got a lot of believers that don't believe. Ooh, wait a minute. You're like, wait a minute. I don't understand. Well, I'm going to slow that down for you. Let me slow it down for you. Let me let you understand it. There are so many of us, that you know what, we, we grew up in church, so God be the glory. And if that, that's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. But you know what, at time, we lose our zeal. Mm -hmm. And because, you know, we believe, we believe. But so much we're believing and maybe it hadn't manifested yet. Yeah. 
And so all of a sudden, it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. You know, when people are saying, you know, God's going to protect us during this time. And so we many of us do, well, you know what? It's gotten to the point of when you're asking a believer, how are we going to make it through this? Some of the believers are saying, well, you know. And that should not be your conviction. Yes, if I'm stepping on your toes, good. I meant to crunch them a little harder. Because you should have the conviction out of anybody to say that God will take care of us. Amen. In the name of, no, in spite of what comes, what may, the Lord God will take care of his children. Amen. You must understand that. Amen. But see, I, I must, I must point that out because we have a lot of believers because we've been churched and because some things in our lives haven't manifested just yet. Oh, don't shout me down when I'm preaching hard because some things haven't manifested just yet. Then we sit back and we just wonder, instead of us speaking out, is God going to take care of us? We're just like, well, you know, mm. well, whatever the Lord want to do. No, 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 no. We should have a firm conviction to say, I believe that God's going to take care of his Amen. children. Amen. I believe that God's going to sustain his own. Yep. I, I know it without a shadow of a, this too shall pass. Oh, come on come now. On. It has come, but it's going to pass as well. It's Amen. not here to stay. These times are just temporary. Amen. You must understand, you're sitting at home right now. This is just temporary, babe. Amen. Matter of fact, I'm going to just say the Holy Ghost shut up for some of us. Because I don't know, but some of us couldn't pay the bill that we were trying to pay. Some of us couldn't handle some of the things that were coming out with. Some of us need to pass the test. Some of us need to get some things done. And I'm there. All of a sudden, the world has come to a stop. Everything has been written. All of a sudden, everybody else has been passed. Excused. Come on. Pardoned. Paid. Don't worry about it. And you think you think that that's it. God will take care of his people. Yes. You see, you, 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 all things work together for the good for us all according to his purpose. All the, you're like, well, Lord God, I didn't know how it was going to work out for me. You said, Lord God, this thing was going kind of rough. Oh, I'm preaching to somebody up in here. I, this thing was kind of going rough for me. I, I really didn't know how I was going to handle something. And the Lord God said, he said, you know what? He didn't call, now let's, let's make it clear. He didn't call this catastrophe the second place but he's still going to use it Thank you. Amen. I don't know about you he didn't cause these things to happen but he's going to use it for his glory he's going all of a sudden those that had some things that were old all of a sudden paid you knew you couldn't pay it anyway you know you didn't have the money anyhow and all of a sudden the paid don't worry about it that phone bill that you're watching me on right about now you're like look I know I couldn't pay it don't worry you got extra money free. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus. Come on, Jesus. come on, come on. You must understand that God's taking care. He's working it out for you. Yes. My God, he's working it out. You see, all this time, you know, you got to start looking at the glass half full rather the glass half empty. You see, the glass half empty say, Lord God, what am I going to do? My glass half full say, you know what? I got a little bit more time to read my word. I got a little bit more time to study. I got a little bit more because nobody rushing me to be on my job at what time. <laughs> They're just glad I can make it. Come on. Am I preaching up in the room? Hallelujah. They got the computer. Nobody blowing the horn. Check. Where? Where you been? Where? Where? They're just glad that you showed up. Thank you, Daddy. And that you're free from anything. <laughs> They're like, you know, bless God. You might praise God. Oh, my God. Jesus. You know, people, that, that, that's the concern. You see how things shifted? My God. You see how the Lord God is using yes. it? Yes, Lord. He didn't Thank cause you. it. I'm making it. Let me make it clear for those that say, no, God did not cause this that's tragedy. Right. That's right. Uh -uh. He did not. But we're about to get triumph out of this huh? tragedy. Yes. Yes. I want the winners to arise. Yes. You know what you're talking about? Well, I haven't wonder. New York got to start acting like a winner before you win. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Come on. When you yeah. start thinking that you're the overcomer, you be you you are the overcomer. Yes. You don't wait till you overcome. You overcome when it seems like you can't overcome. Come on, up in here. You got to start talking and walking. You gotta have the belief. Tell you and the tell you shout it out loud. I believe. I, I believe. believe. The name of Jesus. The I don't know about you, but uh, you know what? Normally we would say we go half a I'm half five myself. There you go. In the name when we started that way before. <laughs> high five and by yourself. Yes. So matter of fact, when you're sitting there and you're like, Lord God, I don't have nobody to high, high five yourself. Do it again. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord God. Daddy, my God. I'm almost to God. You must understand that you are spiritually positioned. Come on, Lord. 
You are spiritually in position to make an impact in the name of Jesus. God is calling for the believers to believe again. He's calling for the believers to believe again. As I mentioned to you before, there are a lot of believers that are not believing anymore. Oh, because of the things that they've been going through. Yes. Things have not manifested. And the Lord God said, he's calling for the believers to believe again. Yes. And that's what I'm telling you. If you have a non-believer walking around with more with their head up, and you up there loving the Lord God, and you up there, well, I don't know what, you need to get it together. In the name of Jesus. You're not going to fuss it at you? Yes. Thank you, I'm coming at you hard in the name of Jesus oh, yes. because the Lord God said it's time to shake yourself. Shake it up. It's time for you to get up from there. Wipe your tears. Heck, come there and represent the church. You know, to act like a believer. That's it. There's more power in you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Believers don't give up without a fight. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. I don't know about you, but we just got the next round. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Ah, that bubble summed it up. You may not understand the times that you're living in. We done been through some floods. Mm -hmm. yeah. We done been through some plane crashes, yes. some tragedies like that. And now this here thing, you must understand. God, God is working on. on the but Every opportunity, Lord God said, you know what? I didn't cause it, but you know what? Minister to the people. Yes. Tell them to get saved. You know what? You're wondering, will it hit my house? Well, if you got the blood. <laughs> I believe there is called the blood of Jesus. Yes, I believe that we talked about making that legal argument. Uh, uh, don't get me started. That's another message. That's another, stay tuned. That's another message in the name of Jesus. You must understand, people of God, that God's trying to tell us something that he needs for the, the people of God to believe. Amen. He said yes. he's calling for the believers to believe. And as children of God, we should be able to dust off belief and get it out of the corner and put it on like a badge. In the name of Jesus. Say, I believe. Mm -hmm. When somebody asks you, are you afraid? So you know what? I'm trusting in the Lord. Amen. That, that's how you're like. And no, you're not sure. I said, I'm trusting in the Lord. That firm conviction. Mm -hmm. Not that, well, I don't know what that's No, mm -hmm. I'm trusting in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I know this too will pass. Amen. I'm pleading the blood of Jesus. And they're like, well, you say that like you know, because I do. Amen. You're like, well, hi. Because my father tempts me so. You're like, well, where is it? It says it in your word. That's right. You shouldn't know your, your word is telling you that the Lord God says this thing is not going to last like this always. That's right. This is just a temporary thing. But he said, I'm calling for you to believe. Mm. I'm calling for you to have that firm conviction. If, if anything is shaking some of us up to see, you know what? I believe God. I, I just really believe God. You must understand that people of God, God is, a, yeah, that, that's like a sweet aroma unto the Father mm -hmm. for us to believe Him and yes. to know. Thank you, Lord God. And to believe in His Word. Uh, Hebrews 11 and 6. Uh, I told you that we were going there. Mm -hmm. I told you we were walking over there. Thank you, Lord God. I believe. Uh, oh, yeah, it's hot in the house. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. God. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Woo, that's called fire. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord God. <laughs> and Hebrews chapter number 11. Verse number six in my Bible says, and I'm reading from the New King James, says, without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes but to God must believe that he is. All right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. You must believe that he is. So if you're coming to God, you're like, well, yeah, you got to have faith in order to please him. But the Lord God said, I want you to go a little bit deeper. Look at the latter portion of that verse. It says, but God must, you must believe that he is. And the scripture, the word says, and that he is the reward of those who diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. You know what I kept getting in my, in my study? Believe that he is. I said, all right, wait a minute, God, wait a minute. He said, believe that he is. He said, believe that I am. Believe that I am. Believe that I am. Yeah. Believe that I am that all you really need. Amen. Believe that I am the protector. Amen. Believe that my blood does cover. Believe that That's I do Lord. protect. Believe that I will provide. Believe that. Come on, come on. You've you got to get right there, people of God. We've got to get to that point right there where we're just believing God, believing God, believing God, believing God in every aspect of our lives. Thank you, Lord God. We shouldn't be tossed to and fro like the wind that comes back and yeah. forth or like a river. But, well, I don't know. Well, I, you know what? You need... You must understand, people of God, we need to have that conviction to just believe. So I'm trusting and I have a firm conviction that it's a I'm in a win-win situation. Amen. Oh, come on now. Amen. Oh, Amen. I'm preaching right yes. there. Amen. I'm in a win-win situation. Because, see, I know that I'm saved. All right? Amen. Amen. 
So I win regardless. Mm -hmm. And that's something we gotta put you in a situation where you win and then you win. <laughs> Thank you, Lord God. You're in a win-win situation right there in the name of Jesus. And you know what? The Lord God has been also speaking as he's saying that we need to believe. But um, I do understand. Now, don't know. You're like, well, Pastor, you, you act like that and like you don't have time of disbelief. I want you to know I'm human. We all have strengths and weaknesses. Yes, Lord. I'm high in some areas that you may be low in. And then vice versa, you may be high in some areas that I'm low in. But I want you to know that uh, what I'm saying and what I want the point that you need to understand is that we need to get to the point where you say, you know what, Lord God, like they said in the book of Mark, Lord God, help thine unbelief. Yes, Lord. Lord God, I'm believing you, but Lord God, in case there's an area where I just haven't seen you manifest your glory. You know, there's none of us that's so big and so great that we don't have an area that we need to be grown up in. Amen. We need to grow Amen. in some of us as children of God in some areas for my life. And I lift up my hands and the Lord God, no, I'm telling you, there's some areas in my life I need to believe more of God in that area. I'm not all there. I'm still growing. And you may be sitting there, so don't beat yourself up. Don't let the devil whip you today. Just say, you know what, Lord God, I'm going to say according to the word of God. Lord God, help that unbelief. I'm speaking to my spiritual daughters now. Come on now. Help that unbelief. There's an area that you may be struggling in. But Lord God, ask the Lord God to help you in that unbelief. The Lord God, because I know your work said that you're going to take care of me. But Lord God, help me believe. Help me believe because I haven't seen it in my time. Help me believe because I just don't know what to. Maybe I can't see my way. But help that unbelief. Oh yeah, I'm preaching right now. Thank you, Lord God. You must understand that people of God in Mark 9, 24, that's what the man, that he was saying. His son was being healed and he was like, wait a minute. He was there, the Lord God presented to him. He said, Lord God, help my unbelief. I'm believing for, but Lord, help me in that area. I'm struggling. I'm struggling not as a people of God, as a real church. Oh, we're not talking about, no, we're not talking about spectators. We're talking about participators. Come on. <laughs> Come we're talking on. about those that are not, are not obligated but dedicated. <laughs> we're talking about them. That, that's the church that I'm talking about. We're not just talking about the saints. We're talking about the faithful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those that, that you don't have to tell you to, to, to tune in. They don't have to tell you to, that you got to read your word. You, you're reading your word. Amen. Yeah, if I'm stepping on your toes, I'm meant to crunch them in the name of Jesus. The Lord God's talking to those. He's saying even, even with all of that, there are times that, you are, you're, that you're weak in some areas. And I'm not saying that to expose. I'm saying that the Lord God said the word will build you up. Help that unbelief. You're like, Lord God, I haven't seen the blind eyes open, but I believe you can open them. Come on. I, I haven't seen somebody get off their bed. Maybe you haven't seen it. That doesn't mean it hadn't happened. That's right. Come on now. That's because you haven't seen it. That's right. Yeah. That's because you ain't seen nobody. Lord, have mercy. Help me, Lord. Woo, come on, come on, come on. You must understand the Lord God said that even though that we're going through this pandemic, this thing will pass. Amen. Come on now. Amen. You must know that God's able. He said, hey, even though you may be going through something in your body that needs a healing, God says, that, you know what, help them believe that Lord God, this will pass too. Come on now. Amen. You must understand that whatever problem that you have in your marriage and what you're going through right now, it, 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 it will pass too. Well, come on now. Amen. You got to believe God for that. You know, come on. You got to believe. You're like, well, look at my finances is still, you know what? It's not, it's not even getting any better, but you still got to believe God right there. Because yes. see, whenever you believe in God, he is still Jehovah Jireh. Amen. Come on. He is the Lord God that will provide for you. He is El Shaddai, mm. the God of more than enough. I'm here to tell you, you must understand that God says that he's trying to call upon you and tell you that that's all you need to do is believe. And you're like, well, Lord God, I don't, I don't understand it all. You know what? Why don't you just pray the prayer, Lord God? Help my unbelief, Lord. Lord God, there are just some areas I haven't seen it done in my generation. I haven't seen it done. That doesn't mean that you're not able to do it. Oh, come on now. Come on, we, haven't, we may not have seen somebody get delivered out of the lion's den. But, Lord God, you said that you would deliver them out. So, Lord God, you did it for Daniel. I knew you could do it for me. Uh, I didn't see the blood pass over Moses. Uh, but you said if you pass over Moses, uh, you're going to pass over my house. I know it.
Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask you, if you're sitting in your house right now, why don't you turn to your right and say, I believe. If you're sitting in your house, turn to the left and say, I believe. Oh, yeah. Speak to the atmosphere. Tell the atmosphere that you're sitting in that you believe in God. No matter what's going on. You see, sometimes you got to see this is a spiritual warfare. Oh, Jesus. You see, oh, help me, Lord God. Where are the warriors at? I'm calling for all the warriors. 